Hi, in this episode I'm going to recap what happened during 2016 on this channel. The channel is mostly about Kyugis, with short, quick tips on very specific things. On this subject I published 12 videos last year, including the most successful video to date. So without further delay, here comes a quick summary. In this episode I'm going to show you how simple it is to create labels from more than a single attribute value. Under Type, you then select Open File GDB. Esri File Geodatabase is actually a closed format, but Open File GDB can read it just fine. But you won't be able to edit anything in the database. But we'll get back to that. The new way to apply the effect is to use Blending Mode. If I use Multiply, the effect will increase the darker the color is. I can decrease the effect by applying some, or a lot, of transparency to the layer. The difference with and without the hillshade layer on the map is quite obvious. The heat map layer will show me where points in the layer are concentrated, and for all points it looks like this. I want to look at patterns, so I add to my layer query and use a like statement on the name feature. I also use the upper function to convert all letters to uppercase in order to get all variants. In this episode I like to talk about coordinate systems because, well, it's important, especially if you don't have a long fancy college education. Locations on Earth can be described with longitude and latitude. These are angles measured from the center of Earth and quite accurate at giving exact locations on the surface. The process is pretty straightforward. First you need a raster elevation layer, which you may clip to a suitable area in order to limit the processing needed. Then you create the contour lines, split them into segments, calculate the azimuth or orientation, and finally you style the layer with an expression. To make it easier for you to find the video you want to watch, here's a list of them with links. The QGIS for Absolute Beginners has had over 50,000 views, which is amazing! So check that out if you haven't already. During 2016 the channel got 1,000 subscribers, which I think is astounding. But as 2016 ended, there's over 2,000 subscribers. So thank you very much for that. On the channel there's also a lot more videos from previous years that in most cases are still valid, so don't forget to check the complete playlist for QGIS. Don't forget to subscribe and share the videos you find useful with your friends. See you next time!